Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hey, we're gonna do a little unboxing today. I uh, got a late call, uh, actually got a tip from somebody in another town and somebody put an ad in the newspaper and it turned out this is a guy I have bought from before. Uh, went down to see him today with Jeff and uh, we didn't get a lot of stuff. Well, okay, we got a lot of stuff, but we didn't have to spend a lot of money. And um, it's a lot of stuff because it's probably anywhere between 700 and 1,000 lots. Um, but it's real small, R real easy to ship, and it's just real small and ready to go. All right, I don't want to lose a light. I'm just going to tell you there's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, we may end up having to unbox in in uh, in the office. We're at the office today because uh, it's just too crazy at the uh, clock shop, and we don't want to actually mix lots. I'm just trying to see what's all here. Anyway, a bunch of movements, a bunch of different stuff here. Hands. I know I have a bunch of tall case clock hands that I got today, but these, this is not the group. Um, here's a bunch of uh, uh, 400-day clock stuff. And, uh, but let's continue. The real easy stuff, and before we do lose all the light, just want to show you guys. Um, that's our house way back behind those trees there. And these are our offices here. Um, I don't know if you've seen them before, and I don't want to. And that's one of our traveling units right there that we use to go to auctions across the country. Anyway, um, we have actually four of these boxes. One is already inside. Um, and I think I saw... Oh, these are a bunch of pendulums. So let's get that out of the way. We got a bunch of pendulums. And now I'm just trying to raise this up a little bit. A bunch of other stuff in here. And... Uh, Some parts and stuff, some movements again, more movements. Uh, here's a nice uh, balance. Uh, um, I saw this when we were, uh, this is a platform balance. Uh, let's see here. Somewhere in here are those hands. I'm just trying to find them. And anyway, there's a bunch of tall case hands. I swore I put them in there, but I, put, I swore I put them in this box. But anyway, they're in here, and I'll find them, then I'll show them to you. Um, here's a nice uh, movement here. This is French. I can already tell. Um, but it has a really nice double glass. Nice. I like this dark dial. Anyway, um, we'll show you more there. Uh, this one. Ah, here they are. Here's one of these boxes. Look at this. Believe me when I tell you when I put these up, there's a lot of money sitting in this bag right here. Uh, got some nice uh, movement stands. Got three of them. Some cable. What's else in here? Oh, some. Some other tools and some chime bars. We sell a lot of chime bars. And, uh, anyway, we'll we'll get a. I'm just going through this real fast. Um, haven't been in this one yet. Uh, we do like these boxes that we just got. Um, they're from. Uh, oh yeah, Toys R Us and. Uh, Oh, here's a nice uh, <coughs> woodworks clock. And uh, looks like a dial here. Another dial. Oh, look at that dial. Wow. Uh, some other, more uh, old uh, original hands. Some tools. Uh, that's a, wow. It's a wristwatch movement holder. 
of all the places, this guy did nothing but clocks. Uh, <clears throat> now these are uh, pulleys. Yeah, here's some pulleys. So there'll be a lot of stuff here, pulleys. And lots of pulleys. Okay, I didn't see that. Actually, my son Jeff told me about it. And uh, he told me that it was in there. Okay, here's the last box from, and it was already inside the office. Uh, we have some nice bells, some big pendulums. Uh, <clears throat> this is particularly light. The rest of them are pretty heavy. Uh, let me see some. Oh, mainly um, springs and barrels. Maybe some new old stock. That looks like the old stock there. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, number 50. Looks like new old stock. And then, <clears throat> anybody need a key? Wow. There's a lot of keys in there. Uh, you need a crank key? <laughs> There's new and old crank keys in there. And, uh, let me pull an old one out. Yeah, nice old one. There's a couple more in there. Now some of the boxes that were in the cab of the truck. <clears throat> I have a nice dial. Oh, that will do very well. Um, it's a newer dial. Let me put that over here. Uh, this is an older dial. Now this is actually a pretty nice one. Has some writing inscription. We'll look at that. Um, that should do probably around 30. This is a ring. I don't know how well that will go. Four metal dials. I don't know. Just looking at them. Some other dials here. Uh, I don't know. Probably $100 in this box here. Uh, maybe more. Probably more, but hard to tell. I'm going through them so fast. Uh, struggling. One-handed. i got to get used to this stuff. I'm gonna move this, excuse me, and move that around a little bit All right now. There's a nice pendulum. Needs a new uh, suspension spring at the end. Pendulum rod. That's probably for Seth Thomas. Uh, these are all kinds of little parts and all clockmaker stuff. We'll go through that stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll look through it. It's hard to go through fast. Oh, here's the little hammers for trying bars. Uh, here's a here's a bunch of alarms for antique clocks. Uh, some verges in that for antique clocks. Uh, some pins, uh, some, you yeah, know, normal supplies that we use. There's uh, some what we call bushing helpers, which I don't like much. Uh, that's not a good way to repair a clock. Um, some brass. If it's not any good, then we'll just put it in the brass bin because, you know, I don't know what brass is right now. You know, it takes us a while before we have enough. Um... Here, we have a ton of this short, uh, real quick out the outside, but kind of a lot of pulleys in that. We get a fair amount of money for the lots. Um, well, here's a, uh, these are all clock bushes. Boxes and boxes of clock bushings. Um, they do, I don't know. This one will do a, a bit more. Okay, this is just pins, but it's a really good maker. So this will probably do about $40, dollars right there. Um, some of this stuff. I don't know their handles, but... But there's a lot of, a lot of 
bushings and that in here. So this box is probably a couple hundred dollars right there. And uh, the uh, so a couple hands there. So there's a couple early ones in there. I'm not too worried about that. Let's go over here. Uh, this is a box. He brought it out at the end. I gave him 10 bucks for it. Um, and I just have plenty of room to get. Uh, oh, here's a really nice dial. This is a really, really nice dial. Let's see if it has no, no inscriptions, but um, nice painted dial. Eh, it's not perfect, but they're not supposed to be perfect. A lot of people use these for wall hangers um, <clears throat> as pieces of art. Here's a nice early cuckoo clock. It is a wreck. It is an absolute wreck. But um, the deer's nice. The crown's nice. I actually didn't take much of a look at it. I would be much happier. These are not the original hands. I would be very happy if these were the original hands. They are the original numbers. Um, and it is what we call a layer movement. And it has the back, but that's not a big deal. Um, but it does have the pendulum. And these are all high rated carved items. Let's try to grab that pendulum. And this pendulum here, uh, you know, the pendulum alone is probably about 50 to $75. And uh, so I, I wish it had the form of the antlers in it, but look, it's, it's literally falling, riding apart. Um, but we'll be able to save the all this here and... Uh, We'll save as much as we can save. Um, it's better than it ending up in the dumpster. And that's what really we're trying to save it from doing. And uh, put that there. Okay, here's some movements. This looks to be new old stock. It's gonna need a couple things. One, it's gonna need a leader. Um, Caught in there. Um, I'll make sure it's cleaned up and ready to go. But again, I, yeah, no, it's not new old stock. That's pretty dirty. Um, we'll see. If it runs, if it runs nice, I can clean it up nice and it runs nice. I will um, take a video of it and put it up. And uh, here's a, a lot of cuckoo clock stuff. This I think I showed you out in the truck. Um, Hands. I didn't. I didn't get into. These are all broken. Um, this one here. This isn't. But I think there's some new old stock movements in here. Uh, but a anyway, we got a lot of stuff. Um, these are. Bellows. And they seem to be pretty good. This is some. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh, I didn't see this. I gotta open this up. Because this is why doing this kind of work is so cool. Um, Where's that bag? This bag, this bag here, believe it or not, this bag right here, and I'm not absolutely sure these are, these are, have never been used or fitted into a cuckoo clock, but it looks as though somehow, some way, somebody got into um, new, very old stock bone. These are bone hands. These are carved bone hands. Can you see the carving in them? This little bag here could be $500. That's, 
that's what's great about what, what we do. And, uh, and then we only paid $7.50 plus $10. I, I forgot I paid $10 for this box here, this game, $10. He, he pulled it out, he goes, uh, yeah. Yeah, he pulled one box out and he, the box of Main Springs, and he threw that in the deal late. But then he pulled this in and then it's, okay, these are 1161 hands. These are Hermley grandfather clock hands. So that will be, this is $35, $40, dollars right there. Uh, but, oh, it has a hand nut, so that's cool. Anyway, um, uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I, I don't know whether we have any other, seems like, I guess we got everything. Uh, the, you'll have to excuse us, we're going crazy right now. We have a ton of stuff and we just don't have, it, it's a, it's a, we have so much stuff, it's crazy.